Hey warriors. Yes, I'm in the car again. Life with the boy wonder is loud. So this is, you know, sort of my moment of peace that I can actually do a video for you guys. So today um, I want to talk about why it's important to save the tick and get the tick tested. Um, specifically because a brand new tick landed in the United States last fall, or it was discovered last fall in Jersey. It's the Asian tick. They're calling it the longhorn tick. And in the last 12 months, I kid you not, the last 12 months, it has now migrated to from Jersey to Arkansas, Connecticut, Maryland, North Carolina, New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. Because the groovy thing about this new tick is that she can leg up to leg lay up to 2,000 eggs a day. She doesn't have to mate. Yay. Isn't that so fantastic? Um, and so... Jesus. The, in the article, it literally says that, um, that it doesn't need ticky, sexy time <laughs> to procreate, which that was cheesy and funny. Uh, uh, it's really, we, no one knows what this tick carries. Um, you know, in Asia, it has been known to cause hemorrhagic fever, but in the U.S., it's still an unknown. So, for all of you, if you ever, ever find a tick, you need to remove it and go to your local hardware store, go to a pet store. They have little thingamajiggers. I don't even know what to call them. They're tick removers. Put it on your keychain, have it in your backpack, you know, put it in your tick kit. Um, and remove the tick and stick it in a Ziploc bag with a, a like really lightly dampened um, cotton ball. The little the little effer will live forever in in the Ziploc bag. I I kid you not. And then send it to wherever you are. So I know like up in New England, the Northeast, I know UMass can test ticks, you know, sort of in the middle of the country. We have technology in Colorado and Fort Collins. I know that Igenix will also test ticks, but it's really important to know if you can save the tick, if you find the tick, it's important to know what it's carrying because then you know what you're dealing with especially in the case of the longhorn tick. So as always, um, you know, please don't, don't stop doing what you love, you know, um, feel the dirt under your feet, the sun on your face, the wind, do what you love, but take the precautions, use the, um, the geranium rose essential oil, um, tick repellent tincture that's, you know, listed here, um, on here, like we're here, listed on the Facebook page for Alternative Lime Life. You can also Google it. Um, wear long pants. You know, for your pet, when you're hiking, have a hiking collar and a home collar and put the, the concoction on their collar. Um, it's a really potent odor for them. So making sure that you switch out their collar is really important. Um, but take the precautions and save the tick and get it tested. Okay, you guys. So from this neck of the woods, please two more steps. Always. It is important for your emotional, psychological, spiritual, and physical health, especially with Lyme. And as always, love and light from, from me to you. Hey, hope you guys are having a great ramp up to the holiday season and uh, we'll chat soon.